These two new ways of thinking changed history. They were faith and reason. Faith meant all the objective truths that we can know by faith, and reason meant all the objective truths that we can know by reason. What is theology? Theology is the study of God. You're listening to Reason and Theology, where both faith and reason intersect. Welcome to Reason and Theology, a show dedicated to apologetics, discussions, interviews, debates, and more. The hosts are Catholic, but also welcome charitable conversations with Orthodox, Protestants, and non-Christians. And welcome to the Reason and Theology show, everyone. I'm your host, Michael Lofton, on a Saturday morning, bright and early here. Uh, joined by my co-host, William Albrecht, and also uh, our esteemed guest, His Eminence, Cardinal Zen. Cardinal Zen, are you able to hear us? Uh, you're on the phone. Yes, yes, I'm listening. Yes, we can hear you. It's great to have you. And let me go ahead and introduce you formally. Cardinal Zen is a cardinal of the Catholic Church from Hong Kong. He has served as the sixth bishop of Hong Kong. He was made a cardinal in 2006 and has also been outspoken on issues regarding human rights, political freedom, religious liberty. He's also the author of For Love of My People, I Will Not Re Remain Silent, on the situation of the church in China, available on Amazon.com. Once again, your eminence, welcome to the show. I'm, a, I'm a happy to be here. Yeah. Can you briefly explain... So should to we start with your questions? Absolutely. So can you maybe explain to us the situation in the church um, in China right now? There's a lot of people who may not really be familiar with what is going on there. Can you explain the history of the controversy for us? Yeah. Yeah, maybe just briefly, because it's a long, long history. Huh? <laughs> sure. So when the communist took, yeah, when the communist took power, uh, they started immediately the, the religious persecution. Huh? But uh, they did by steps. The first step is to send away all the missionaries, huh? but not very politely, huh? just uh, uh, calling them uh, imperialists. Huh? And uh, so send them away like criminals. Huh? And then uh, uh, when, once the missionaries are away, then uh, they, uh, they uh, treat the, the, the local clergy. Huh? So... Uh, they, they say, now you are free from the imperialists, so you need to, to be really free. So we have an independent church in China, and we don't depend on those foreigners. But that's not acceptable, uh, because we are a Catholic church. Uh, we are one church in the whole world. Uh, and so uh, a big part of the church said, no, we cannot have an independent church. It, uh, it will no, not, not be Catholic anymore. And, and those people were sent to prison or labor camps, huh? many. And uh, the other people who, for any reason, accepted uh, the imposition of the government, they stayed in the churches. Huh? But then uh, in the 60s, uh, the uh, cultural revolution happened. Huh? And during that 10 years, huh, uh, at the beginning of those 10 years, the Red Guard, uh, the young people, uh, you know, they have all uh, authorization uh, to persecute anybody. So those who were in the churches at the time were also persecuted and then sent to prison in the labor camps. And so for 10 years, it was complete silence. After 10 years, they adopted a more open policy. And by the time... Uh, uh, you know, uh, when in the in the beginning of the 80s, uh, all the people in the prison finished their sentences and they came out. Now, uh, you can imagine those who went into prison at the very beginning, they had no reason to change their mind. Uh, so they went underground. Huh? And uh, those who used to be uh, to work in the churches under the control of the government, they went back to the churches. So that's the beginning of the underground and the official church. Now, the, the, uh, the, the free policy allowed uh, those people to have some contact uh, with, with Rome. Huh? And uh, so uh, uh, Rome came to know that uh, 
during all those years, uh, uh, many people suffered, uh, and the people, uh, other people uh, may uh, not be that strong, and so they accepted the imposition of the government. Uh, some even accepted to be illegitimate bishops, uh, and uh, but they are not bad people. Uh, so they asked the, uh, the Pope to uh, to recognize them, uh, and after some investigation, and uh, the Pope found that they are good people, so he legitimized uh, those bishops, uh, and also the people were very happy. But then at a certain moment, the government came to know that, and they were not happy. Uh, and so uh, around the year 2000, uh, uh, they start uh, a new wave of uh, persecution. Uh. Now, this uh, 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 is a uh, uh, constant in the system of the communists uh, to persecute the, the, the church. Uh. But unfortunately, uh, you know, uh, our church is also uh, depending on people. Uh. And uh, so after very good years, uh, year 2000, uh, especially uh, before 2000, we have this Cardinal Tomko as the head of the Congregation for Evangelization. And uh, he, uh, he succeeded uh, to have a very good relation also with the Secretary of State, and they uh, listened to the voices coming from China, from Hong Kong. So uh, they did a uh, good work. Uh, but uh, then uh, when Cardinal Tanko retired, he, his successors were not that good. Uh, and then uh, also in the Holy See, uh, those who... Uh, are disciples of Casalori, and uh, they are very fun of this so-called Ostpolitik. Uh, uh, they started uh, a policy uh, of compromise, uh, and the things uh, went wrong. Uh, went wrong. So uh, it's a long, long story. Uh, and uh, 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 especially uh, under uh, Pope Benedict, uh, uh, I, I was called by Pope Benedict to help him for the church in China. Uh, th that's why he made me a cardinal. Uh? Mm. But then the, this group of power in the, in the Holy See, uh, they simply did not follow the Holy Father. Mm. And so uh, the Holy Father wrote a wonderful letter, uh, set up a, a huge commission, uh? mm. but they spoiled uh, much of that work. Uh? So that's very sad. Yeah. And uh, uh, But... At the end, before his retirement, uh, Pope Benedict, uh, uh, you know, uh, imposed a, a right direction. Uh, and very probably, uh, I have uh, uh, enough reason to believe uh, that by that time, uh, an agreement was ready, but uh, uh, it was not good. Uh, so uh, Pope Benedict uh, stopped it. Uh, and so he didn't approve that. Uh, so... Uh, then uh, there was a change of direction, but unfortunately, uh, uh, he had to retire because uh, he, he had no strength uh, enough uh, to, to govern the church. Uh, and uh, uh, then uh, came uh, Pope Francis, uh, uh, and uh, he made uh, uh, Caroline uh, Secretary of State, and uh, uh, they uh, resumed that uh, uh, that uh, was politic. Uh, and so now we have this uh, uh, agreement uh, two years ago. Uh, and uh, But in the meantime, both the underground church and the official church uh, have weakened uh, uh, because of uh, the continued persecution from the government and also because of the wrong policy in the Vatican. Uh, they always compromise, and uh, uh, so they always make concessions. Uh, and uh, so... The church is very weak at this moment now. Well, you know, Cardinal... So it, I, I, I can't be, cannot be longer. <laughs> sure. Okay. Well, you know, it, it, what you're saying, you know, where, where the Vatican, you know, sabotages things and compromises things sounds very familiar with uh, other areas, too. Now, that kind of brings me to another question. We hear from Archbishop Vigano yeah. in his first letter that Cardinal McCarrick uh, was one of these people kind of sabotaging things by being sent to China 
by Pope Francis himself to broker a deal with the Chinese government. Is that true? Can you confirm that? But, uh, Cardinal Macaric started uh, uh, doing things uh, much before uh, for, uh, for, uh, for Francis, uh, mm -hmm. for a long time, but uh, he had not an uh, important role. Uh, uh, he had nothing official. Uh, he just uh, uh, freelance, uh, so made friendship with some uh, uh, Chinese officials. Okay, that's all. Uh, and so I don't think uh, he, he, he is that important in all this process. Okay. Yeah, that fair enough. And uh, can you? Yeah, maybe... uh, the, the one of the cardinal, very good, very good one, uh, is uh, a Chekarai. Uh, he 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 was a really a good friend of China also, but he was also not official. Uh, mm -hmm. just uh, by himself making friendship. Okay. Now, do you know what exactly are the terms of the deal between Pope Francis and the Chinese government? Yeah. So these days, people are discussing whether the, the agreement should be extended. Huh? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I think uh, uh, since this agreement is a secret, huh? so we people, even me, uh, a Chinese cardinal, I don't know what is in that uh, agreement. Huh? So actually, uh, we should not be able to, uh, to, to, to give any opinion huh? because we don't know. What do you see that agreement? Huh? Uh, but uh, 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 you can guess more or less. They say it's about the nomination of bishops. But now, in these two years, uh, uh, no nomination uh, happened. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, there were two episcopal ordinations, but nomination of those two were already fixed uh, years ago, mm -hmm. uh, uh, before the agreement. Uh, um, because uh, even without the uh, without a written agreement, there was a way of compromise, huh? and uh, uh, they tried to agree on some names acceptable to both sides. Huh? And so I think uh, the the agreement must be more or less same uh, as that uh, that kind of uh, a compromise. Uh, but uh, something uh, much worse happened. Uh, 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 in the occasion of the signing of, of the, the agreement. Actually, they legitimized, I mean, the Holy See legitimized seven excommunicated bishops. Mm. And uh, they were excommunicated many years ago. Mm. And during all these years, they were so defiant. Huh? And so uh, they just uh, uh, used that uh, power uh, given by the order uh, of, of, of the, the uh, the, the bishop, but uh, they, they, they got no jurisdiction from the Pope, so they were uh, uh, not legitimate. Uh, so they were fake bishops, uh, and they, they dared to use that power. Uh, so they ordained the priests, uh, and they ordained other bishops. Uh, so it's terrible. And uh, they always uh, follow the, the directives of the government. Uh, and uh, the, the Holy See uh, was always more supporting this uh, official church than the underground in all these years. Huh? And they did not follow uh, the wonderful direction given by Pope Benedict. Uh, that's very sad. Huh? And so uh, the, the, this agreement uh, itself, uh, we don't know, but we see the bad effect. So the first bad effect is that they legitimized the seven bishops. Huh? But then something more terrible happened. Just last year, uh, at the end of June, uh, the Holy See uh, issued a document uh, called uh, the Pastoral Guidelines uh, for the uh, Civil Registration of the Clergy. Uh, that means uh, the Holy See uh, was encouraging uh, the clergy uh, to be registered with the government, but they have to sign a document uh, saying that now they join the independent church, uh, the Patriotic Association. That's incredible. That, because that church is a schismatic church. So how could the Holy See encourage them to join that church? Huh? So I went immediately to Rome. And uh, uh, so uh, I had all my questions. Huh? I, uh, I asked the, the Holy Father to be present uh, to a discussion between me and uh, the Cardinal Parolin, to clarify uh, what is right, what is wrong. 
but I could not uh, get that. Uh, uh, they offered me a, a, a dinner, but uh, there's no discussion. Uh, after dinner, when I was about uh, uh, to start some discussion, uh, the Holy Father said, uh, I'm going to look into the matter. And uh, so he stood up and saw me at the door. Uh, and the Pavarese said no word during the dinner. So I'm very, very disappointed that they can do such a thing and uh, without consultation. Uh, and uh, uh, now uh, it's finished. Uh, uh, so uh, the, 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 the Chinese government uh, have uh, have got everything. Uh, and so it's, it's a complete surrender. Uh, so a, a, a complete sellout. I said no. So uh, very sad. Uh, I uh, I raised my voice, but uh, 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 I, I don't feel uh, don't don't feel much uh, reaction. Uh, uh, I sent even a letter to all the cardinals, uh, mm. but uh, I just received a few uh, letters uh, of encouragement, but uh, you know uh, nothing uh, in the public, uh, and so. It's very sad that uh, our church in China now is in a very, very bad situation. Uh, the, the the agreement is secret, so mm. the government can do anything with that agreement. Uh, they say, oh, now we join uh, our independent church. But the people say, no, uh, it's not uh, allowed. They say, oh, no, no, the, uh, it's in the agreement. The Pope agreed already. Actually, there is no such agreement. Uh, the Holy See said, no, 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 the agreement is not there. But then, anyway, you join that church. That's incredible. Huh? Mm-hmm. So uh, I'm very sad. Uh, I, I can understand. Yeah. And, and so I guess my one follow-up question, then I'm going to pass it over to William. Um, what, why do you think Pope Francis just says, look, I'll look into this, but doesn't do anything about it? What, what's going on there? Why He has the authority. He has the power to fix this. Why doesn't he? Uh, I... I, I I really cannot understand, but uh, you see, uh, Paroline uh, is a very good diplomat. Mm-hmm. So maybe the Holy Father needs him for all the diplomacy. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, uh, unfortunately, I find Paroline uh, uh, not trustworthy because uh, he gives more importance uh, to the diplomacy than to the faith. Huh? Uh, because once uh, in his uh, in one of his speech, uh, uh, commemorating. Cardinal Casalori, uh, talking about uh, uh, Cardinal Wilisky, Cardinal Mincenti, Cardinal Baron, he described them uh, as gladiators, uh, as people who oppose the government uh, 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 always, uh, and uh, uh, people uh, who like to, to show off on the, on the political stage. Uh, something like that. So it's uh, terrible. Uh, so if he despises those heroes of faith, means he doesn't uh, seem faith. Huh? Mm-hmm. So uh, I'm very sorry uh, that uh, uh, the Pope Francis uh, has given everything about China in his hands. Yeah, I can understand that. Your Eminence, I appreciate you answering my questions. Thank you so much. I'm going to pass it over to William here. Are y'all able okay. to hear me all right? Sure Hello, William. Wonderful. Uh, Your Eminence, what a blessing it is to be here with you. We greatly appreciate your time. Uh, greatly, greatly appreciate it. I wanted to ask you, Your Eminence, I know that you recently traveled to Rome uh, to seek an audience with Pope Francis, but for one reason or another, that did not occur. Do you, do you plan to go back again? Do you think you'll be granted an audience? What are your thoughts on that? Now, uh, uh, I believe that uh, uh, the cardinals have a, a easy access to the Pope, but uh, seemingly it's not so. Uh, you remember the, the four cardinals uh, uh, making some uh, dubia uh, doubts about this uh, uh, Amoris Laetitia, you remember, the four cardinals. Right. Uh, they also could not get an audience from the Pope. Huh? Now, the, the Pope... Uh, 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 always uh, follows uh, Cardinal Parolin. Uh, this time, uh, I wanted to discuss with him uh, uh, about uh, uh, the, the the nomination of the, the bishop 
here for Hong Kong because uh, uh, the 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 envoys say that uh, now uh, the bishop in Hong Kong needs the blessing from Beijing, and uh, there's an, a name also going around uh, uh, who is very friendly uh, with Beijing, and that's uh, uh, very worrying because uh, in this moment uh, Beijing is uh, uh, treating. Uh, our city of Hong Kong, just uh, like uh, any city in China, uh, with this uh, 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 state security law. Uh, and uh, we have lost all kinds of freedom. Uh, so we lost also the freedom of, of speech. Uh, so it's terrible. So if, uh, if the future bishop is uh, 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 so submissive uh, to the regime, then uh, uh, I, I don't think uh, the church can... Uh, uh, you know, do what uh, he's supposed to do. Huh? And uh, so uh, I, I want to to have a, uh, a word uh, with the Holy Father, but uh, it was not possible. But I I handed a, a letter uh, to his personal secretary and uh, he passed the hope to the Pope, I'm sure. But anyway, uh, we pray. Huh? God knows uh, uh, what we need. Okay. Definitely, Your Eminence, and we are definitely praying for yeah. you. We're, we're playing, praying very strongly for you. And uh, uh, my very good brother here, Michael, and myself, well, we both have your book, uh, For Love of My People, I Will Not Remain Silent, on the situation of the church in China. What would you tell our audience that the main thing to take away <clears throat> from this book would be? What, what is the main message of this book? No, actually, the subtitle is wrong. It's not about the situation, the actual situation of the church in China, no. It's about the, the letter, principally. The letter okay. of uh, Pope Benedict in the in year 2007. And uh, uh, it was a wonderful letter. A masterpiece of balance. Uh, balance between the clarity of uh, doctrine and also... Uh, the open attitude of understanding of people. Uh, but uh, uh, the people in the Holy See even dared to manipulate the Chinese translation uh, in a very important place. Huh? And, uh, and then uh, uh, the, 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 the uh, huge commission set up by Pope Benedict uh, 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 could not work well. Huh? But then now, uh, with uh, Paroli as uh, Secretary, Secretary of State, uh, uh, he made that that commission even disappear. Uh, he appeared without uh, noise. Uh, that's incredible. Uh, and so, uh, in that book, I am telling the people uh, that unfortunately, uh, uh, people in the Vatican may not always uh, do what the Pope likes. You see. Uh, uh, I, I give all the documentation of what I say in that book. Huh? And uh, but now, uh, the, the just the, the reverse happened. And before, uh, they did not follow uh, Pope Benedict, but now it's uh, Pope Francis who follows Paroli uh, in everything about church in China. And uh, you can see uh, that uh, uh, the, the Holy Father cares for many. Uh, places in the world uh, where there are in injustices uh, and he comes out to defend the people. But he didn't say a word about China. With all the uh, injustices, uh, the government is uh, is inflicting on his people. Uh, and even recently, everybody can see from television uh, what happened uh, to Hong Kong, uh, to the youth uh, in Hong Kong. And uh, But there's no voice from... Uh, uh, from Vatican, uh, that's that's very sad. Your Eminence, it is very um, very disheartening. Um, is is there anything that uh, aside from praying and praying and believe me, we are all praying for the Church in China. We're praying for you. We're praying for your mission. Is there anything that people can do? Maybe maybe a web page, maybe a work of yours to share to help get this message out more clearly, what would you tell the people? What can the laity do to help? I think uh, since now the world is uh, so confused, uh, and uh, uh, you see, with this mass media, 
uh, there are so many different voices. Uh, it's really important uh, to guide the people to get the right information. Uh, so help people to get the right information. Uh, and then uh, maybe they can find some way to help. Uh, maybe it's very difficult to help. But at least uh, we need people to know the reality. Uh, and uh, so uh, it's a, a duty uh, uh, of mature people uh, to be well informed of the reality. Then at least you know for what you are praying, okay? Uh. Definitely, Your Eminence. I, I, I definitely uh, agree with you, and I greatly appreciate you um, coming here and, and, and joining us because we have such a great, deep love for the faith, and we have been praying for you, and we really, really are, are, are do, we're going to do our best to get your word out, to get this message out. Uh, you, uh, as I've told you before, when I dialogued with you before, you always have an open door here to join us on the show whenever you'd like. Anytime you ever say, William or Michael, I want, I have an important message to get out. The door is wide open for you here, Your Eminence. You see, uh, uh, I am a religious, I'm a Salesian, and uh, 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 my religious society uh, destined me to to be a teacher in the seminaries for for my life. I taught 52 years uh, in the seminary, uh, the Dyson Seminary and Salesian Seminary, and even uh, seven seminaries in uh, mainland China. Uh, so uh, I teach philosophy and theology, uh, and so I know the importance of uh, truth. Uh, and uh, uh, Pope. Uh, John Paul II uh, uh, always talks about uh, the truth, uh, especially uh, the, 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 the faith and reason, reason and faith. Uh, uh, he was also a philosopher. Uh, so I think uh, the truth is very important. Uh, and so uh, the education. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, in Hong Kong, uh, the church uh, has lost uh, uh, the, the power uh, to uh, to really uh, uh, lead our uh, schools because uh, uh, immediately after uh, the handover back to China, uh, the government changed uh, the, 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 the law about uh, the schools. Uh, now we are no more uh, really in charge. Uh, there is an independent uh, management committee uh, and uh, we, we are no more really uh, those who run the schools. Uh, and now uh, they want to impose a, a so-called patriotic education. Uh, that means uh, brainwashing. Uh, that's terrible. Uh, so all the people who, uh, who can, who are in the position to go away from Hong Kong, uh, they do. And they bring away their children so that they may not be brainwashed here in Hong Kong. Your Eminence, thank you very much for that. I do want to pass it back to my brother, Michael, to see if perhaps we have a little bit of time to get to a few questions that people uh, have on their minds uh, as they've been watching this dialogue. Sure. Your, your Eminence. Uh, yes, yes, I'm willing, yeah. Hold the Tradition asks a really good question here. He says, uh, what word of encouragement would you give to my friend Carolina and all the other Catholics in China right now? Sorry. Um, what word of encouragement what, what? would you give to people like this person named Carolina, who is in China, and all other Catholics who are in China right now suffering? What word of encouragement do you have for them? Oh, uh, I'm very sorry uh, for my brothers and sisters in China, mm -hmm. uh, because unfortunately, Caroline. Uh, uh, is singing victory, uh, saying that now uh, there is only uh, one church, they are all united, and uh, all the bishops are legitimate. But that's uh, a, a lie, because those are uh, fake bishops. Uh, they are more servants of the government. Unfortunately, before, years ago, uh, in China, the majority of, of bishops were good bishops. Now, no. Now the majority are are slaves of the government. Uh, and uh, now uh, they are all uh, uh, in the so-called uh, uh, bird cage. Uh, uh, and uh, 
uh, uh, so this official church uh, is not the real Catholic church, uh, because they are dominated by opportunists, uh, and uh, they are controlled tightly by the government. Uh, and so uh, in that church, uh, you know, uh, there is no more uh, the, 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 the real uh, Catholic spirit in that church. Uh, maybe some newcomers, they don't understand what does it mean uh, to be a real Catholic church, but sooner or later, they, they may find out that those bishops are not uh, shepherds. Uh, and so it's very sad. And then uh, the underground uh, church disappeared because uh, uh, there are a few uh, old bishops dying and uh, they don't give any more uh, bishops in the underground because uh, uh, they say all the bishops in the official church are already legitimate. Uh, and so it's incredible. They, they take the the schismatic church as the Catholic church. Uh, and so it's very sad. Uh, you know, before this uh, uh, new uh, situation in Hong Kong, um, people, some people, several people could come to Hong Kong and they come to see me, but now no more. And so I, I, I cannot contact them. It's very dangerous if I contact them. Uh, so I only can... Uh, 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 say my uh, put my voice in the air. Uh, uh, I hope they get it. Uh, I, I I I I like to tell them that uh, you have to be uh, prudent and constant. Uh, constant, even if you see many bishops and uh, priests uh, uh, from the underground going into that uh, official church, uh, you should not blame them because now it's allowed by the Holy See. Uh, but if you your conscience, you know very well that it's not right, uh, then you don't join the church. Uh, and so uh, with your heart, in your heart, you always keep the true faith. Uh, uh, and don't fight the government because uh, uh, you, you only uh, get more suffering, which is not necessary. Uh, so uh, uh, now they come to take away your underground churches. Let them take. Uh, and you are no more allowed to say mass for the people. Don't say mass for them because uh, you put them in danger uh, of being arrested. Uh? You can still pray in your heart. Uh? I, I, I teach theology, so I tell them that when you are in the impossibility of having a sacrament, you can sacrifice the sacraments, uh? but you cannot sacrifice the faith. Uh? The martyrs, uh, when they go to into prison, they are deprived of sacraments, uh, but their heart is full of grace. Uh, so just uh, go home and silently pray uh, uh, and uh, wait for for a better time. Uh, and uh, uh, I think uh, uh, the better time are not not that far away. Uh, I think uh, it's already too much uh, the suffering they have imposed on our people. Uh, so please, uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, and you go into the catacombs, okay? We are all with you. Uh? We are praying with you, and uh, God is with you, okay? Yeah. And especially, we pray Our Lady, uh? and uh, 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 Pope uh, Benedict, uh, in the, in, at the end of, uh, uh, in, uh, when he wrote the, the letter, he composed also uh, a prayer to Our Lady of Shesan, uh uh, help of Christians. Uh, so we pray. Uh, and that's our strength. Yeah. Your Eminence, I want to thank you so much for coming on. You're welcome to come on anytime. Um, so let's do this again. For now, can we get your blessing? Yes. Uh, we are so uh, fortunate to have faith. Uh, uh, we are baptized and we are Catholics. Uh, it's a really a, enormous grace, especially today, uh, with such uh, confusion, uh, not only uh, in the in the whole world, but uh, uh, even in our church. Uh, uh, we hope see to know what is the true faith, uh, uh, which comes from the uh, the tradition, uh, which cannot be changed uh, uh, by human will, uh, and. Uh, that faith uh, created so many martyrs. Uh, uh, that faith gives uh, uh, light to all those people who suffer here on earth. Uh, because we know 
uh, that we are all created by God. Uh, we are all children of God, and uh, we are brothers and sisters. Uh, and uh, uh, the, our destiny is heaven, uh, uh, where there will be no more uh, suffering, no more confusion. Uh, and uh, so this is a, a, a immense grace. Uh, uh, many people in the world, even better than we are, uh, they have not uh, such grace yet. Uh, uh, we pray that they may also one day uh, learn about uh, the gospel, uh, uh, about the good news. Uh, uh, but we have to live uh, this uh, faith that we uh, possess already. Uh, and uh, then uh, uh, we try also to show to people that we know in whom we are believing. Uh, and uh, the reason why we believe the reason why we are ready to suffer everything uh, uh, provided we can keep our faith, uh, because that's really the most precious thing we have. Uh, and uh, uh, if we have the chance to live in a more peaceful uh, circumstance, then please care for our children, uh, care for the education, uh, uh, teach them how to pray, uh, and then uh, uh, the, the prayer, especially of children, of innocent people, yeah. of the suffering people, uh, are powerful. Huh? So we never uh, despair. Huh? The, the, the church is in a, a very bad shape uh, in, in China. Huh? Uh, but uh, uh, we know there are still so many uh, uh, good, faithful, uh, they are suffering in silence. Okay. Your Eminence, you're a blessing to us. Can you can you give our viewers your blessing? Yes, uh, to you people, uh, 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 you uh, care for your faith. Uh, you care for fidelity uh, to our faith, to, the, to our tradition. Uh, and you also care for all the brothers and sisters uh, in the world. Uh, so may God. Uh, reward you for your this uh, goodness, uh, and may God uh, keep you away from the uh, the temptation uh, uh, of uh, uh, wrong novelties, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, to keep you uh, strong uh, uh, on the real Catholic faith, uh, and uh, uh, even to deepen the knowledge of that faith uh, uh, with the uh, study of the Bible, uh, of the fathers of the church, uh, and of the so many uh, uh, precious documents of the church, uh, the rich teaching uh, by uh, John Paul II. Uh, uh, this is the uh, 100 years uh, of, of his birth on earth. Uh, and and, uh, uh, and uh, uh, also... Uh, the, the teaching of uh, John the Twenty Third. Tomorrow uh, is uh, uh, the Memorial Day uh, uh, of uh, Pope uh, John Twenty Third, uh, and uh, he uh, used always to teach us the goodness. Uh, always uh, remembering people that we are all brothers and sisters. Uh, so uh, uh, I invoke uh, the divine blessing on you on your families, on your church community, uh, uh, so that uh, uh, you may make your uh, faith uh, fruitify uh, for yourself and uh, for so many people. Uh. God you. bless you. Thank you, Your Eminence. We really appreciate that. Let's do it again. Thank we would love to have you on again. Um, so we'll, we'll talk off the air okay. about maybe <laughs> another date, but once again, thank you all for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Also share this on your social media. Check us out at patreon.com forward slash reason and theology. If you would like to support us and pray for his eminence till next time. God bless you all. Here at Reason and Theology, we've had the opportunity to have interviewed some of the greatest scholars and theologians in the world on matters related to Catholicism, Orthodoxy, Protestantism, Islam, Mormonism, Atheism, and a whole lot more. We ask that you go to the Reason and Theology YouTube page where you can watch some of these episodes that were done in interviews, roundtable discussions, debates, commentary and analysis, and much, much more. 
We also ask that you go to patreon.com forward slash reason and theology and consider becoming a patron and supporting what we do here on a monthly basis by selecting one of the plans that are available. And then also, if you would check out the reasonandtheology.com website, where we have all kinds of resources, including articles and uh, summaries on different matters pertaining to the faith. And then lastly, we ask that you go to the YouTube page on Reason and Theology and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notification for future events. And once again, thank you for watching and thank you for your support here at Reason and Theology.